Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and we're playing Hunger Souls today, as you probably saw there. Uh, it's an indie game made in Unity, and it's on Itch.io. I will leave a link in the description below if you want to have a go. And something that caught my eye with this one was the first screenshot I saw, because I recognised the area. Um, now, one thing I I think I have mentioned before, when I look for games on Itch.io, I always look for ones that are tagged Unity. And some stand out to me more than others for various different reasons. And sometimes ones that I recognize that people maybe will consider asset flips, uh, I do kind of take a look at. Um, I, I don't know whether to de declare this as an asset flip at the moment. Um, I think it's something that we're going to find out in just a couple of minutes. Um, but if it is an asset flip, I'll explain a bit more. If it isn't, again, I'll, I'll explain uh, a couple of things. But... I mean, so far, I can see assets that I recognize, but that's not a bad thing. Uh, let's just start. Um, level 1, level 2. Okay, so level 2 looks like the one I recognize from the screenshot. So I want to go level 1 for now and just see. Um, it says it's a first-person shooter game. Survive from zombies and escape the area. A headshot will kill a zombie immediately. There's ammunition and med packs in various places in the map which a player can acquire. Touching water will reduce player's health. Why? No, no, as, as a genuine question, why? <laughs> why, do, <laughs> why does touching water reduce your health? Uh, okay, I don't know. All right, well, let's... Okay, let's, let's just... Go ahead with this then. Um, okay, so it's somewhat. It's it feels like I'm on ice. So the controller feels like I'm walking on ice. Like if I let go, I still go forward. Okay, ready. So I'm gonna run forward and let go as I get to the door. Okay, and then. You'll see just how far it keeps going. Ready? It just keeps going. It just keeps going. That's. It feels a bit weird. Okay, well, so far, it's actually... It's fun. I'm not going to lie. It's fun so far. But to me, stuff like this is it's always fun anyway. Hang on. Did I shoot that in the head? I, I think I did. And yeah, it didn't go down in one shot. Or did it? I don't know. Yeah, the controls feel a little bit weird. There's a floating med pack there for some reason. Not sure why it was floating. Yeah, I, I reckon I, I recognise these. Um, mainly, well, I say mainly. I think specifically this guy right here in the white. I recognise that. Oh, I can jump. That's all right. I've got 40 health left. And no ammo. Okay, so I've ran out of ammo. Is there a way for me to pick up more? Um, not here, there's not. I'm going to try and run past these guys. Go, 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 go. No, I'm dead. Okay. Uh, what happened then? It just kind of... <laughs> just jolted forward. Like a frame a second. Okay, let's go to main menu. Uh, start game. Let's go to level two. So I think this one is going to look very familiar to a lot of you out there. If it loads. So instantly you can probably see that this is flooded grounds. Which isn't a bad thing, like I say. You'll find a lot of the time people can use some of these assets mash them together and create hmm, and create their own game. And do you know what? For, it, it's not a bad thing for people to do that. It, it really isn't because it helps people learn and develop. What, hap what happened then? I went in the water and somehow teleported here. Okay. So, from developers' point of view, I can see what they're trying to do here, and it's a nice little game. 
if it is the first game they've ever created because what they've done is taken a couple of different assets mixed them together um, to try and create their own game which I think is respectable you know as, as long as they're not trying to pass everything off here as their own creation because it isn't a lot of this stuff is in fact it's all from the asset store one way or another but like I say it's a good learning experience for a lot of beginners, taking assets from the asset store, combining them with your own scripts and stuff like that is a real good way of learning and understanding how things work in video game development. Like I say, I think a, an asset flip more than anything is defined as someone who has basically just taken assets and trying to pass it off as their own in the process, which I don't agree with whatsoever. Okay, that's really weird. Whenever you go into water, you end up teleporting somewhere else. Okay, so you can't stay in the water. I, I, I fired my gun even though I'm dead. Okay. Well, I don't think there's much more for me to do here, to be honest. I mean, I don't know how far any of this goes, how far I can go myself. I'm probably... Not going to get very far, yeah. So, yeah, uh, give a thumbs up if you liked it, a thumbs down if you didn't. Uh, like I say, if you're new to developing, this is, if like, if this is, you're the developer and this is your very first project, this is pretty good for your first project. I think it's really good because you're learning things here, even if it's not your first project, to be honest. A bit of knowledge isn't going to, you know, go astray here. I think it's good to learn new things, even using pre-made assets. A lot, a lot of people do that anyway. You look at some of the greatest games out there, they've used or recycled assets from different other things. You know, for example, Resident Evil is a classic. Um, although they did originally make their assets, they recycled them into other games. But either way, yeah, it's not too bad. So, yeah, thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you want. Let me know what you think about the game. Um, link is in the description if you want to have a go. This has been Hunger Souls. I've been Jimmy Vegas, and guys... Thank you so much for watching.